All right, the time has come to showcase the original Xbox paired with the RetroTank 4K, and I got to admit I've been very excited about this one. The OG Xbox is a personal favorite of mine, just a lot of history there, and hmm, really love the games on that library as well, so I don't know. Big fan of it, but yes. Anyway, this is a very special Xbox that I'm using in today's showcase, so let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. So from the surface, this looks like your just average run-of-the-mill Halo Edition original Xbox. And it's in pretty decent shape overall. But we are running a Project Stellar HDMI combo in this guy. And then there are a couple of extra additions to this one. The first of which being that this is a CPU modded Xbox, so it is running a 1.4 GHz to all of inside of it, along with 128 megabytes of RAM. So the 136 there is from Project Stellar's additional 8 megabytes of RAM being reported in the system screen here. This is where one of those benefits of Project Stellar comes in, because most games do not work on a 1.4 GHz Xbox correctly, but with a Project Stellar, that limitation has been at least from all the games I've tested fixed, so it's been friggin' fantastic. Get a nice performance boost in CPU-limited games like Half-Life 2, which you will see in today's demonstration. And then, of course, the 128 megs of RAM is great for homebrew stuff, which the original Xbox was my gateway drug into the whole world of homebrew, and I friggin' adore it. But anyway, this is kind of my white whale of console collecting, so I just absolutely love this thing. But now let's go ahead and talk about Xbox HD Plus settings if you happen to be using a Project Stellar or standalone Xbox HD and you want to pair it with the RetroTank 4K. So the first option you want to have set according to Wobbling Pixels is to set the target resolution to 480p. And then under 4x3 widescreen set this to never. And then for pre-scale 480p correction you want to have this disabled as well. No mention was made for Assume 16x9 but this option is paired with the... Um, 4x3 widescreen options, so it shouldn't really matter what you have this set to. And then under the scaling settings, I went ahead and set everything to default. The default setting under Project Stellar is to have this set to bilinear, but I decided to just set everything to default for the uh, off chance that it makes things look different than I want. I mean, go through it, personal preference on what you want this to look like. It might not even apply anything since we're not scaling through the Project Stellar anyway. And then the last option you need to have set is HDMI color space set to RGB for the included profiles on the RetroTank 4K. Now for profile setup, the only available profiles for the original Xbox at the moment come from Wobbling Pixels. So you head into the Microsoft Xbox folder and to get these set up, load up the Xbox 720X Sharp profile. This is the one you're always going to load up first no matter what game you're playing. And then you're going to head into the scaling and crop setup under advanced settings. And if you see black borders on the right and left of the screen, like you just did for me here on Riddick, it means this isn't the right profile you're going to want to use. So you're going to head back into the Xbox folder and load up one of the other two. And it's going to be personal preference on which one you prefer. So there's 640 to 720 sharp or pixel aspect ratio 640 sharp. So you can load up either one of these and they are better tuned for these games that don't have a native 720x480 output. Now these profiles are optimized for 4x3 content, but if you happen to have your Xbox set to use widescreen modes, you can come into the scaling options and change the pixel aspect ratio to 16x9 to give it the proper anamorphic stretch. All three of these profiles also work for 720p and 1080i content, and you won't need to do anything extra for those resolutions. And as of the making of this video, there are no profiles specifically designed for component video input. Now as for additional settings in HDMI output, I am once again using Genlock with VRR enabled for my playing display. It doesn't matter for my capture card, unfortunately. And then under the advanced settings, processing and effects for interpolation, I am once again using bilinear sharp on both vertical and horizontal axis to blend pixels a bit more together while maintaining sharp edges. If you want to smooth things together even further, you can always change this down to soft and get a wonderful blended look for it, or standard, or whatever you prefer. It is all personal preference, so just go for it to your heart's content. But now, here are 12 original Xbox games running through the RetroTink 4K. Enjoy.
Thanks. Freeze. Huh? Don't kill me. Thing back up you <laughs> <laughs> been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life. We've shared everything. All the bad and all the good. I have no one. Nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Who 
whoever you are, you're not stopping us. To the north! After them! Move! Move that way! Attack! We did it. 
Ah, Paladin. Cast some healing spells on us. are under attack. Soldiers, for the walls. Let's go. Please help. We're pinned down here. Hey, listen, buddy. Grab some explosives and get back to the sewers. Go to the gas station. That's where you'll need to blow the fuel tank. Just go through the sewer you came from. Yo, man, I gotta talk to you. Thanks, friend. Nice to get rid of the snipers. Listen, if you're going to infiltrate the police station, I recommend you use the subway tunnel. station through the parking garage, but stay low, or the soldiers will spot you. Oh. Ah. 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 
Вперед на врага! О! Крысы наступают!
We're moving again. They just transmitted a safe route through the minefield. That minefield's offering better odds than you're gonna get taking me to Butcher Bay. You think Hoxie's memory is that short? He gets one look at you, Riddick, and all is forgiven. And I bank your bounty plus 50. Plus 50? Now come on, Johns. Greed is an ugly thing. You're in no position to negotiate, Riddick. Shut up, would you? You're already counting, aren't you? I said shut up. Your funeral. Don't fucking move. Today, Johns, you get fucked. You don't move until I say so. Hey, hey, hold it. You go where I say, when I say. I just wanted to look around. Hey, you want it? days are over. Jones has his back Step at you. Back. I stuck him. You don't tell me what to do. You can step back yourself, right? <laughs> I rule! DNA protection. Oh. Oh. The new are hard to See what this piece of meat's up to. I gotta drop him. I should hide the body. Someone might notice.
is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Lena. No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from the left. on bringing harm to my family. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? Why?
Artillery disabled, Sergeant. Landing zone secure for the moment. I hear you. Starting our approach. Hang tight. Easier said than done. Inbound phantoms, Chief. until the pelican arrives, Chief. <laughs> 